guys, today I'm going to be doing a very much and something that you've been nagging for for a while, a shelf tour. So uh, let's get started. I know you guys have wanted me to do this for a while, so let's do an updated shelf tour. There's not really that much, I think, that you, you guys have seen that's different. So as you know, I love Dolores Umbridge. I hate the fact she talked as kids. However, I love her character. I think Imelda Staunton is just incredible. So I have a whole shelf dedicated to Amelda Staunton right here. Again, these are all hand painted by me, as you know, and if you see dust, okay, it just makes it more authentic, all right? So I love this. So we've got these plates now are from Loot Crate. That you can find them on eBay, so don't worry, you won't miss out. You can find them on eBay. We've got one that's actually fallen down there, look which I need to put back up. We've got Defence Against the Dark Arts notebook that is from uh, Mina Lima. We have a limited edition key ring there, which is from the studios. We've got a Noble Collection wand and a doily, which placed, I placed there instead of her rug. Then we have obviously a pop vinyl. We've got this from the Hogwarts Running Club, which is just brilliant. We've got some cups and we've got some magnets as well. So let's move down because that hurts my neck doing that. This is the Hall of Prophecies shelf. Now you guys have seen me talk about this before recently because I've updated, I've put things differently so it looks really nice. I've got a few of these Professor Wands here as well, which I love. This one's Professor Trelawney's as you can see on the pewter stand. We've got some gorgeous kind of um, orbs and uh, snow globes, no, no, snow, snow globes, orbs, there's prophecies, and they just look absolutely amazing. This one is Professor Lupin's. It was the last one I wanted to get hold of. And um, this one, as I've had since I was a kid, this is a Mr. Magic um, crystal ball. How gorgeous is that? It's lovely. And then I can't remember where this is from. This is official, but I can't. It, Sandy sent it to me from America, but I can't remember what shop it's from. Then we have Professor Flitwick's wand that Maria gave me. Thank you very much. And then we have this lush prophecy orb from Bradford Exchange as well, which we also have some more Bradford Exchange items in the back there as well. Look at that. That actually lights up. It's beautiful. Such a beautiful item. I think this is one of your favourite shelves because it's certainly one of mine. This is my Gringotts shelf. Now this has been changed over the last couple of years because I've moved things around including this gorgeous Niffler that was sent to me from my friend Tyrone Brown. How beautiful is he? He is just so adorable. I love him. Thank you so much Tyrone for sending him to me. He's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous creature. He's so soft. Now this item here this is a glass that is actually, I didn't know this when I bought it. I bought it to strip it because I was going to paint a H on it, right? It turns out that this is an exact glass uh, from the Chamber of Secrets when Professor McGonagall turns her bird into a goblet in the Transfiguration classroom when they ask about the Chamber of Secrets. It is an exact one. So crazy, crazy, crazy. I think I only paid 20 quid for it. Now, as you can see, I have talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. These uh, shell, this uh, always marks on the back of the shelf. This has all been done with plaster of Paris, right? And then a fork, because if you look at the Lestrange vault in London, the new one, you'll see that there are a load of fork marks. It looks like forks, it scratches, I say forks, it scratches. But what I did is I did the same thing with my shelf, but I got some real gold and real silver leaf and I painted it individually, individually, right? This goes all the way back, okay? Individually into these cracks. It was so hard to do, but my God, was it worth it. How amazing does it look? I got some beautiful items here. So I've got some stunning official coins. You've got Neville Longbottom, Dumbledore, Hermione. Um, oh, this is gorgeous. This I bought from Buckingham Palace. How stunning is that? I love that. Sorry about that. Somebody came to the door with a parcel for me. 
lots of lovely things to show you soon so hopefully i'll do that video for saturday um so we've got obviously got more things these gold bars are from the warner brothers studio they're about 16 15 16 pound i think they're really really lovely but they're very delicate so please be careful with them because they chip easily because one of mine chipped this coin is from the warner brothers studios they were when they did the gringotts shelf of oh, the gringotts shelf oh my god i'm so obsessed when they did the gringotts vault they have a coin maker there a coin press so they made a load of coins for the vault and they made one each for members of staff at the studio so monica was working there at the time she got given her coin and monica gave it to me until i die and then i have to go back to her uh, so you got a gringotts key there which is so cool we got some amazing items along here including look at that hallmark niffler he's going to hang up eventually i have brought a hook for him I love the money box at the back there. So we've got all these beautiful coins and stones and then this lovely gold pot of sparkly crystals. Sparkly crystals, because you know me, I love my sparkle. Look at that. I love this shelf. It just oozes sparkle. It's amazing. So then we move down to the wand shelf, the first wand shelf, so we've got the obviously the Hagrid's wand there which is motion sensitive and lights up and then we have an array of wands going all the way across. These are all the good people in Harry Potter and then here we have a few of the interactive ones that are available from the Wizarding World in Orlando, Florida so all those ones look at them all they're beautiful they're getting a little bit much now i need to kind of start kind of i don't know maybe taking some of them off i think i think i need to then we go down to the iconic books the harry potter books here look at how i love the colors of these books they're so stunning and then we go down and we've got some more beautiful books there as well that was actually my wedding present from Adam. They're the 20th anniversary book set. I can't quite remember, but aren't they beautiful? I love them. I've got such a stunning collection of books. Now this is one of my favorite shelves purely because of its simplicity. It's so simple, but this is the tasks from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So first of all, we have a trap door here which I painted, um, how cool is that, it's just wicked. I painted it with a little kind of trapdoor as well coming down and then when they fall through the trapdoor they land on the devil's snare and as I've said to you before, underneath this, you can just about make it out there, there is a piece of real devil's snare from the films. Then we've got the flying keys obviously that harry had to find the broken one to open the door that opened up to a chess game and then we have these beautiful chess pieces then here we have a potion that is um the one that uh, hermione uh, realizes that's the potion that harry has to drink to move on to the next task which is then the philosopher's stone um by the mirror of eris said how beautiful is that i love it again you're seeing all this dust right just remember how hard these shelves are to dust okay then we've got the um this is tina and queenie goldstein's bedroom uh with newt scamander's beautiful suitcase in the center so we've got star race newt scamander with a little niffler just there at his feet. He's so cute. And then we've got another little niffler just there, which is the Hallmark one. Then we move over and we've got the Star Ace Grindelwald in the shape of Johnny Depp. Um, there with that really, really strange creature down the bottom. This beautiful niffler here was made for me by my friend Ruth, who's one of my Patreons. And then the clock behind is the latest one from Pottery Barn. So then we move down. So obviously in this, we would go into here and then move down into Newt Scamander's suitcase habitat. So a lot of people kind of don't understand where this comes from. Now, this is actually this Occamy nest here this is actually like a little like glass orb that was from B&M it had a fake plant inside with a load of stones and what I did is I bought it took it home 
got the fake plants and stones out of it which actually was so hard to do because they were properly glued inside the glass and then I got some beautiful kind of string with leaves in from Amazon I got my glue gun and I literally glued the entire thing around this orb this glass orb so it's entirely made by me over a glass dome and then this then became the Occamese habitat with some two noble collection Occamese hidden inside. Then we have this hero collection Occamie here sent to me by my friend Jordan. Then we've got a picket which is lovely from noble collection. Then we have another beautiful noble collection item the hooper. Then we've got this lush pixie look at that isn't he just so cute just hanging there you know just doing the normal stuff and then my friend ruth bless her she made me these adorable mandrakes that are also in my my shelf we've got some nifflers as well so you've got the hallmark niffler and the running press niffler he is so cute and then this is where moon casts are meant to be because there's the moon there and we've got a tree there and the tree goes all the way across there, you know. Uh, but I haven't got a moon calf yet to sit inside this part. But then we come over and we have Frank here in his Monument Valley part of Newt Scamander's suitcase. And then another niffler my friend Ruth made for me for Christmas. How cute is he? He's adorable. So this is one of my favourite shelves. This is, as you know, my Yule Ball shelf, right? This is my Yule Ball shelf. In case you didn't notice, this is my Yule Ball shelf. Yeah, get it? Yeah, good. Uh, so this is like one of my favourite shelves because not only is it housed with such beautiful sparkle, it has a gorgeous portrait of the Great Hall during the Yule Ball painted at the back, obviously by me. Then we've got obviously Swarovski crystals hanging up there. We've got the Yule Ball Christmas decoration. We've got the Necker Goblet of Fire. We have a, a glass snowman, I'll have you know. We we have these beautiful items we've got a gorgeous coin we've got Olaf <laughs> Olaf has made his way onto my your ball shelf right we've got a stunning your ball plate that was from loot, uh, loot crate we've got this lovely beautiful glass wand that was uh, done for me by Enchanted Mysteries. We've got some lovely pins. We've got a gorgeous noble collection, Triwizard Cup. We've got some lovely goblet, uh, 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 Yule Ball glass bottles. Then we have a stunning Cinderella's slipper. We've got the, um, a musical trinket box of, a gold, of the golden egg from Japan, which is lovely. We've got the Hallmark light up um golden egg we've got these beautiful yule ball glasses that are from the warner brothers studio that were released last year do you remember they did the yule ball section it sold out so fast but the first thing i got well adam bought them for me as an early christmas present was the yule ball glasses i wish i'd bought more they're so stunning we've got obviously the noble collection golden egg there as well so this is one of my favorite shelves with all the beautiful detail and decorative items that are on this shelf is just stunning so this is a lot of my favorite pin badges obviously a fight you'll probably see a lot of uh, quite valuable ones on here i'm not good with the pricing of pin badges but i know that there are a lot of of uh, valuable pins on this shelf for example obviously you've got the christmas one here that's the official one from the studios that's they're at 150 as far as i'm aware and we've got the yule ball one there as well i don't know how much that's worth my one can fetch up to a, about 100 pound on ebay which is the pin i designed we got a, quite a few like little kind of oh and this halloween one again 100 to 150 um so yeah they are quite valuable ones um but i'm not good with the pricing of them but i know that they are valuable so obviously these are my recent things this isn't a pin badge but i love it i bought these on ebay they're paper clips but they're brass um hand ones like the ones from mina lima so i got two so i got that one and I got that one there as well and a few of my friends have messaged me asking could I send them the link so I sent them the link so we're like we, we've kind of got a little collection going now I think but uh, yeah I got some lovely pin badges on here 
felt I need to go through them really. Um, one, because this shelf is filthy dusty, it's very hard to dust. And two, because I've got a lot of pins I'd actually like to swap round because I've got, so, I've got so many pins. If you look underneath here, these shelves have all got like um, things behind them. So this is behind this shelf. So it's absolutely full of pins. And then in these boxes, there's pin badges as well. So I have a lot of pin badges and I've got two cabinets behind me full of pin badges as well. But they're mostly like Primark things. They're not, there's not masses amounts of them. But these pins, I love these pins. They're so incredible. I couldn't tell you which one my favorite was. The one that catches my eye a lot is the basilisk one there i love that one i love the hawk the the horcrux collection i absolutely love this philosopher stone pin that was released few few months ago by the warner brothers studios that's one of my favorite pins from them i love that one the most recent one the hagrid one isn't on here it's actually underneath the shelf i haven't really got anywhere to put it at the moment but i will find somewhere to put it and then you've obviously got the harry the the one from the studios the pin seeking um, pin there for which house you are so obviously mine's a Ravenclaw one um, but they are they are beautiful pins and I'm really proud of my pin collection I've got some lovely ones but they really do need dusting badly and then as we move down we have this shelf here which is full of some beautiful boxes from my friend Emma um, and then you've got some Mina Lima notebooks which have actually fallen over just there so they need to be put back up right and then my amazing invitation to next week's Mandrakes and Magical Creatures at the studio tour to see the new um, greenhouse that's been opened Tom Felton was there yesterday well this is the actual invitation for the event next week and I'm so excited to be invited I can't wait to go as a Warner Brothers ambassador I'm well excited for it so then we move on so we've got the Rita Skeeter shelf here on Rita Skeeter but of course you knew that I'm right for the Daily Prophet but of course you knew that I love this shelf so we've got an amazing Rita Skeeter book there that was sent to me from my friend from Instagram. I've got the gorgeous um, Dark Arts kind of a uh, tankard and the goblet. I can't remember where they're from. Who sent me them? Let's have a look. It is Nemesis Now. They do those and they are absolutely incredible Nemesis Now. And then obviously behind it, you've got the Rita Skeeter notebook and notepad a box set from the Warner Brothers from the Wizarding World in Florida which has been sold out for a very long time then we have Professor Slughorn's wand here we've got Professor Slughorn's hourglass Rita Skeeter pop vinyl and then Rita Skeeter as a beetle inside there as well and then we move down to one of everybody's favorite shelves it's the potion shelf this is just such a beautiful shelf it's so beautifully done it's just so incredible and I mean that dough beautifully done I don't, I'm not trying to praise myself I mean the bottles are so beautifully done I love these bottles I've got such a collection of potion bottles from all over the world here and I got some stunning glass vials back there my mum and my dad are actually in some of those glass vials at the back and uh, and my advanced potion making book with a noble collection quill here as well and then we move down to another one of people's favorites it is the potions classroom with professor snape and he's in the middle of teaching a class so we have this was all painted by hand they both are painted by hand the windows were the hardest part for me and then the e even harder part was the potion classroom writing at the back that was all done freehand because i did do a stencil and the stencil failed so i had to do it all by hand and we've got these lovely tables with their stools here and all these little things around the tables as well it just looks so fantastic and then we have a star ace professor snape overlooking the classroom down to page 394 and then we move down and we've got some fantastic ones here these are all either fantastic beasts the um collection the exclusive collection or they are the baddies from harry potter 
so that is my other ones my favorite set of ones are these ones they are so incredible i can't wait to get a new one of my golden snitch one because that one's actually broken um when i go to new york i'm going to be buying one straight away and maybe get it personalized to me as well then if you remember this wonderful lamp i did i painted this i had a horrible lamp from sean valentine it was gold and maroon but the actual lamp itself was beautiful so I literally got a load of my paints that I already had and I completely transformed it into a Patronus lamp it's beautiful the lamp itself is from Argos I think it's about 12 pounds it's only cheap but the lamp is just it was so it was ugly looking as in the color was ugly but the look of the lamp was beautiful so I wanted to transform it so that's what I did a few months ago and then this is normally lit up but I actually had to unplug it so I could plug my light in it's my uh, three broomsticks lamp from department 56 it's so beautiful all lights up but i have actually had to unplug it to plug my light in then i have my scentsy wax burner which is gorgeous look at that they actually have some new ones coming out very soon so keep an eye on that then we've got some more items to look at so we've got some curses we've got some uh, spells on the side of the wall and then we've got my, obviously you guys have seen my wall before, but this is where my desk is now. My desk is here. It is a mess, so please forgive me. It's a mess, but I am in the middle of obviously selling a load of stuff on eBay. So a lot of these items have been sold and they are on their way. They're being picked up tomorrow once they package them up. One lot of parcels has just gone. So uh, they will be going soon. Then we come over to the other part of my room. So I've got all my Lit Joy boxes up here because obviously I don't advertise Lit Joy, but I do still get the boxes. Um, we've got more my beautiful lounge fly bags my lounge fly bags i'm obsessed i have 15 lounge fly bags i am only displaying eight here because i'm running out of room to display them so i need to rearrange things to display them again so these are my main rucksacks like as i said i've got 15 bags so i really need to find place to put them then as you go down i've got the honey duke section and then there is a weasley weasley wee section in there which is hardly seen at the moment because i'm rearranging everything but uh, you will see more of these shelves soon look at my vertebrae candle that candle was made by the same company who did them for the films you can still buy them i can't remember where they're based now somewhere up up, up from us i cannot remember i know it's just at the road from us i can't remember the name of the county right okay so these are some of my shelves i've literally just kind of plonked stuff here so please excuse the mess i am in the middle of doing my room as you guys know so we've got a few items here i love the pin seeking shelves i love my pin seeking shelves look at them aren't they gorgeous and then as you go down you've got some lego and you've got books and then more books and then we move over We've got a load of Noble Collection um, catalogues, more Lego. That has actually fallen, but that is my Ravenclaw diadem, my new one. So I'm going to pop that back down. And then you have my Ravenclaw diadem or my Ravenclaw um, shelf there with my Ravenclaw books, which I love. Then I've got like a dedicated part to the Weasley, um, the Twe Weasley family, which this shouldn't be here, but I don't know actually where else to put it. So it's going there for now. And then all of these are like my golden snitches and golden snitch stuff that I need to find a place for. So they are there and they're going to be displayed. They're going to be hanging from the shelf and everything. But I'm going to get some lights for the shelf and stuff. And then we go over and we've got some books for my degree. Because obviously I finished my degree now. I got a first with honours. Whoop, whoop. Uh, then we go down and we've got Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter here. Then we go down again. We've got more pin seeking pins. And then we go down and we've got a few fair things like Dobby, we've got books and so on. And then we have a little bit of a crazy time over here because then we've got the picture that Janice did for me with her and her son did them for me, thank you. We've got beautiful Bradford Exchange Village collection and then we've got my DVD collections and so on. So this is like my other side of my room that's a complete tip at the moment but I know you guys would appreciate seeing it that it's not all tidy, it is chaotic. I've got obviously, I've got my Gringotts bank there and I've got some more pins behind, you know, so I've just got so much stuff that I have to sort out and this is a lot of reasons why I'm actually selling some items because I'm running out of room so at the moment obviously everything is a bit 
chaotic. It is getting better because underneath my desk is still loads of space to put things. Um, I've got loads of stuff in the front room that needs to be sorted out and uh, I've just got stuff everywhere you know for example I've got my Defence Against the Dark Arts cabinet there you know at the moment so I've just got so much I've just got so much so much stuff to go through my Borgen and Burke's cabinet as well which needs to be sorted out so sorry I'm coughing I've got hay fever and it's really starting to annoy my face my, 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 my eyes and my throat I'll take an antihistamine in a minute. So warm here, it's so sticky. The postman's just come and picked up a load more parcels from eBay, um, so that's brilliant. I got a load more being sent away tomorrow. I got loads of stuff to add to eBay. I've got a pile of stuff next door that's got to be put on eBay. It's just getting the time to do it, so I might do it later on today. So I know you guys have been desperate for a, for a shelf door, for a door tour, for an updated tour. So I thought I need to do one now. So um, yeah, I'm sure you, got, you guys don't mind not having the vintage, Victoria's Vintage today and having a shelf tour instead. But uh, yeah, so let me know what shelf was your favourite. I love my shelves. I've just been talking to another company about my shelves and I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of what I achieved, you know, during lockdown when the time was, things were really crap and yet I found something positive to focus on. So I really enjoyed it. And thank you for Janice for helping me to sort out all the shelves for the other side as well. You know, because if it wasn't for Janice, I wouldn't have done any of this either. And, and I'm hoping eventually that I can repaint all of them. But now it's finding the time, you know, going into my master's. Obviously, I've done my degree. I'm going to go into my master's and then I'm going to do my doctorate. So it's, it's finding the time for it. But uh, yeah, it's Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter and Harry Potter will always come first. Oh, my kids, obviously, and then Adam and then maybe Harry Potter at the same time. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. Until next time, take care. I love you all. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>